The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who taught the martyr St. Wenceslaus to place the heavenly kingdom before an earthly one, grant through his prayers that, denying ourselves, we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. One day, when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered, and the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, Is it for nothing that Job is a God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blasphemy you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabines carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them. And I alone have, have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, the Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, and carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they were dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear at his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
In all of this, Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from my lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night. Though you try, try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior, of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. What was Jesus trying to teach his disciples in bringing a child, placing it by his side and saying what he did? The one who receives his child in my name receives me. What Jesus is trying to use that symbol of the child is that the child is of such an age that he's not yet learned disobedience. And as a result, the child will follow a command and work almost effortlessly to see that it's done. The child is one whose will is readily conformed to that of another. And what Jesus wants the disciples to understand, it's not about what place they have in terms of society or even within that band of disciples, but how they've conformed their own hearts to the will of the Father. Because as they form their own hearts to the will of the Father and obey his commands, well then they are closer to God in all that they do. And that's what's important. We know it ourselves that there are those things that pull us in many ways, distracting us day in and day out. But at the beginning and end of the day, really, it's all about our looking to our own lives and trying to discern how it is that we live the Father's will today and that we strive to become like that, the least among all, 
so that indeed we will be in that place of eternal salvation among the great ones among us. We place our prayers of petition before God, our Heavenly Father. That God may continue to look graciously upon his holy church and fill her people with spiritual gifts and graces, let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord may rescue the world from the ravages of evil and sin, let us pray to the Lord. That God may comfort those who are grieving the death of a loved one, let us pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strength, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to preserve in faith, let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died in baptism with Christ, especially Francis Lyons, may find lasting peace and eternal refuge at God's right hand. And for the intentions of this Mass, James Daughtery, Elaine Lawler, Carol Steeb, Neam Wynn, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We join in our vocation prayer. God our Father, our Father we, beg we beg you for, you for an increase in religious, in religious vocations. vocations. Help our people, our people offer their, their lives in service to you. you. Let, Let them, them hear your spirit's, spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust your care, all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. Wenceslaus overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. <clears throat> For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. As we with all the host of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <clears throat> Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Wenceslaus faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. As we go forth now, having Mass here in the large church, to simplify the sanitizing process, you'll notice that there are these types of cards in the basket on the baptistry, and then there are some in the entryway here on top of the offertory, uh, at least for the time being. So if you would come in, take a card, leave it in the pew where you sit, and then the one who sanitizes the church will know what areas need to be sanitized as opposed to trying to spray down all of these pews that have never been set in today. So if you could do that, that would be very helpful. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.